Hey what's up guys my name is Eden welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be showing out how to get keyboard and mouse on your PS4 without a ZIM4 or an adapter. And this works for games that don't have keyboard and mouse support so your mouse will have aim assist as well so that's just another perk of having this. First off you're going to want to get the first link in the description and go ahead and launch that up. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna open up your remap and then it'll open up PS4 Remote Play as well. And um, you're gonna have to configure it in here and we're gonna start it up from here. Um, it says connecting to the PS4, there we go, here it is. Um, so you're gonna wanna press Alt-C and uh, now that you're in here, um, if you have everything binded up and set up correctly, you'll see your game or whatever you're on currently. And oh, I did not want to default dance. So I'm going to actually have to do some key bindings because I haven't really messed around with it enough. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go over to my controller. So I'm just going to remove my current key bindings. And let's try to look for one on the remap forms. So we found ourselves a file that we can use. Let's just put that on our desktop. That we got that. Um, we can just import that into our remap. So select profile. I'm gonna go to my desktop and then look for it. So, Black Ops 4, that works. Um, should have everything set up correctly. If not, then I'll just um, go back and change it. So, the mouse is already calibrated, so let's test that out in game. Obviously, we're going to need to mess with the sensitivity a bit. Let's change that. We're just turning up my sensitivity more and more and more and more and more. Until we can find one that's good for us. So now that we've upped that a bit, we have a more proper sensitivity. And we're able to mess around with that. So, as you can see, I'm moving around my mouse. You can see because of the jittery movements, I wouldn't be able to do that on a controller. So I will um, just show you guys an example. I'm gonna put my sensitivity really fucking high, or very high, just to show that it properly works. And yeah, it's working good. So button, detect input. We're gonna do that button for a triangle, add that up. And circle. This is going to be the build menu, so we could put it to Q. That'd work. Um, we already have our WASD, so now we got to add the L3, which 
should be sprint and R3 should be crouch. Let's make sure those work. Crouch seems to be working. And it looks like I have auto sprint on currently, so. I'm actually gonna change that real quick. Well, let's make sure we have every other button. So, square for reloading. Um, options. And kind of about it. Okay, let's make sure. Um, yeah, sprint seems to be working every time I press that. It works perfectly fine. Um, let's hop into a battle royale match now that we've done that. Okay, hold up. I need a bind to jump real quick. So cross or jump. And there we go. Now I can actually leave. Okay, so that we did that. Um, let's get some gameplay going. So I'll just maximize this for you guys so you can see it better. And I will show this off. All right, looks like we have got in just fine here. We're gonna jump out. As you can see, I'm controlling it just fine. And uh, we're gonna head over to this little house right here. Hopefully we don't have any visitors. Looks like we got somebody kind of close by. I don't think he's gonna be going for where I'm going, luckily. So I'm just gonna drop down and get a gun here. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves some guns. Now we can head over here, pick up another chest. Got ourselves a shotgun. Very good. I'm gonna get rid of that trash submachine gun. And now let's go test our aiming. So, I'm gonna go from this tree to that tree. So it seems to be pretty good for the most part. And um, obviously I don't have an aim assist yet because I'm not aiming at an enemy. So I'm gonna have to find somebody real quick. I'm sure somebody saw that I came here. So unfortunately I am not the best at this game. So let's see who's here. There's a dragon there. So luckily that's an actual person. And we can run down and get him. And we just got our first victim. So there we go. I'm not sure what a storm flip is, but I will go ahead and take that. Okay, not what I, oh, that's what that does. That's actually really cool. Okay. So, I am still using my mouse. I haven't really refined it too much. Um, so, bear with me. 
We found another victim. And we got somebody else down pretty easily. As you can see, it's pretty effortless in regards to um, trying to... Oh, looks like somebody is shooting at us. So we're going to try to avoid those shots. Not sure how good I'll be at doing so, but that's okay. I'm not an avid Fortnite player. We managed to get off two kills. I'm going to start heading towards the zone now. So if you configure these uh, mouse settings correctly, um, you should get a pretty nice feeling for the most part. Um, you can obviously mess with your DPI, like for example what I just did there. And I'm going to try playing on 800 here. So let's pick this up. Let's bandage up real quick. Oh, there is a guy there. So another victim for us. So we're going to go over and just completely decimate that guy. And that guy is a pro player. So, all right, guys, that'll wrap that up. As you can see, it worked pretty fine with Fortnite. Um, please don't judge my gameplay too hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's that. That's how that rolls. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave the match here. All right. Well, that sums up this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed my shit gameplay or the tool. Um, see you guys later.